Today we've got a special one for you. So I've been waiting for a really long time to get my hands on these speakers and now four months later I finally get a chance to check out the Kef LS50 Metas. That's right, these are the new ones with their new technology that have taken the world by storm. Now, are these things living up to the hype? I don't know, but we're gonna find out today. Okay, let's level set on these speakers. What is the KEF LS50 Meta? Well, it's basically the LS50, but improved, and it's a good bit better. Let's start by level setting on what we're talking about today. So the KEF LS50 Meta is the new version of the LS50 and incorporates what they're calling their new Meta material. Now, you might ask yourself, what the heck is meta material? Basically, this is a disc that sits on the back of the tweeter and absorbs that back wave from the tweeter to improve the sound of the speaker. Now, there are other improvements as well. Uh, there's bracing in the cabinet, the tangerine waveguide is different, and there's some subtle changes to the enclosure itself. Um, I believe this is the 12th generation of the UniQ technology, so don't think it's just the meta material that's different. This is really I wouldn't say a new speaker, but it's definitely an evolution of what came before. And it's a really cool evolution. Now, before we take any further steps, let's take a look at the specs of the speaker so you can kind of see what all is going on. One of the most important specs to call out is actually the price. I know that in the long run, that doesn't really matter, but if you think about it, this set of speakers is $1,500, which I believe is the same price that the original version cost when they first came out. And you know, you're getting 10, 15, 20% more speakers, so to speak, for your money than you did back then, because this is a better sounding unit. It does sound better than the original version. So for this to be at the same price, that's pretty cool. And well, since we were talking about the sound, let's get into that. Now, the first thing that you're gonna notice when you listen to this speaker, you're gonna say, that's a Kef. <laughs> and yeah, I know it's a Kef, so it's gonna sound like a Kef, but Kef to me has this trademark signature sound that really identifies the speaker as what it is as opposed to anything else. And I rather like that Kef sound. Well, this speaker has that sound and a little bit more. And I really think the signature of this speaker is that the mid-range, particularly the vocals, they are without a doubt the best I've heard in a speaker in this price class, I think ever. They, they are outstanding. I mean, it's a really rich sound and it feels like the sound just steps forward away from the speaker when you're listening to it. And it just, it, it, it kind of envelops you. And I really, really enjoy that sound. Now, to touch on some other items, the sound stage for these is outstanding. Once you play with them a bit, get them away from the wall, towed in just like you need them to be, you get that holographic image, that that phantom centered channel that people talk about. You know, the, the stereo sound just, it just, hovers there kind of in the air in front of you. And it sounds like you're at the concert. Uh, the sound stage is super wide. Uh, it feels like it gets wider than the speakers are. So you can really kind of lean back and, and enjoy that sound. It does take that extra step forward where it doesn't sound like you're listening to the speakers. It really sounds like you're listening to the music and the speakers are almost inconsequential in the experience, which is exactly what I wanna have when I listen to speakers, because these things sound great. I'm here to listen to the song that I wanna to listen to, and I enjoy that quite a bit from these. Now, I use these also, not only in two channel, but also as the left and right in a home theater setup, and man, they, they did a great job. Dynamically, they were able to keep up with what I consider to be more of a dedicated home theater kind of speaker. So I didn't have any issues with these speakers being able to keep up with that dynamic sound that's required in, in the home theater arena. One item that I do think is very important to call out is the bass response on the speakers. And you know, these have smaller drivers. You're not looking at an eight inch mid range or mid bass in these. So for me, even though this is a bass reflex design, the bass wasn't as strong as I would like to hear, but you know, that's a function of 
any speaker in this size class. There's only so much they can do. Now, if you look at the specifications coming from the website itself, I think they call out some kind of crazy number like uh, minus six decibels at 26 Hertz or something insane. That, I, I don't know. I, you know, this thing's not shaking the walls. And for me, they sound much better when you give them subwoofer support. So I set them up in my home theater and you know, they sound great there just as a stereo pair. But when I add the subwoofer support in for my home theater subs, wow, I mean, my socks came off. I looked down, they were gone. <laughs> you know, it was kind of one of those moments you hear people talk about where they transcend the sound or something. I don't, it was it was really good. So I, the vocals that these things put out and when you have that low end support, Oh man, you can listen to pretty much anything you want to on these and they sound absolutely stupendous. So let's talk about the LS50 Meta in the context of a couple of other speakers because I have just completed a comparison of this and a couple of other models and I think it's interesting to understand how these, you know, way compared to each other. So I listened to these very specifically alongside the Martin Logan 35 XTIs and the Aperion Audio Verse 3 bookshelf speakers. Um, both of those are excellent, excellent speakers. These are all pretty different speakers and the price range I think is from about a thousand up to these at 1500. So they're pretty well matched, but a lot of technology differences. Um, now for me, when you add a subwoofer to all these speakers and listen to them, the Kef hands down beat them all. Uh, the mid range and the vocals that the Kef LS50 Metas can produce none of the others could, could touch it. But when you look at it as just the bookshelf speakers themselves, the Martin Logans have a bit more bass and gave you a little bit more of a full sound as compared to the LS50 Metas without a subwoofer. So there, you know, there, there's a pretty good competition. I would recommend that you listen to both of those side by side so you can make a decision. And I think some people are gonna fall out on the side of, okay, that mid range from the Kef just, just got me. The, the vocals are, are too amazing and I have to have it. And then some people are gonna say, well, I just need that more full range sound that I get out of the Martin Logans. And those would be the ones that I would pick. Now the Perian Audios did well, but they paled a little bit compared to some stiff competition. So uh, absolutely the Kefs over the Aperion if you're just doing bookshelf versus bookshelf. Now let's talk about music a little bit. And I listen to everything you can think of on these speakers, but there are a couple of songs that I wanna call out that I think were really, really interesting on the Kef LS50 Metas. And the first one is a song from Tool called Chocolate Chip Trip off of Fear Inoculum. Uh, this is a percussion heavy piece. It has an extremely wide sound stage and will let you understand exactly what these speakers can do when you sit back and close your eyes and you just feel the, the motion of the music moving around the room as you can hear these different pieces of percussion sounding off from different areas. It's an extremely challenging piece of music for any speaker to produce well, but the LS50 is just killed it. I mean, it sounds wonderful. And when you listen to it, like I said before, with subwoofer support, it's so much better. Now, one thing that I didn't get to try that I would like to do is set these up with stereo subwoofers and really simulate turning these into a full range speaker as opposed to kind of the mono sub setup that I did test them with. I think that would be pretty cool and it might even go next level. But from the testing that I did, these have an amazing sound stage and on Chocolate Chip Trip, they gave me a trip. It was really cool. Another song I want to call out that I particularly enjoyed on these speakers is Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. She's one of my favorites. She's an amazing vocalist and the Kef LS50 Metas really brought out her vocal performance on this song. Now, I do think you need a subwoofer to supplement the speakers to get the full experience for this particular song, um, but it's well worth it once you get this set up and listen to it. Imaging was great. Her vocal came across very clearly. Uh, it was very stand forward from the speakers. Image kind of popped out and, and really kind of slaps you around. And uh, you know, if I'm gonna get slapped around, I think Ariana Grande is probably the one to do it. So let's sum these up for you. Uh, the Kef LS50 Meta is definitely a step forward from the LS50. Like I said, 10, 15, 20% better 
but absolutely better. And for the same money, you can't go wrong. I've compared this to other speakers in the price range, and these absolutely are at the top of the list. Um, there are some that are pretty stiff competition, but if you enjoy the Kef sound, then there's probably nothing out there that can beat these for you. Uh, it, it sounds like a Kef, the, the vocals, the mid-range really takes a step forward. They're very rich, they're very warm. They're not quite as laid back as other Kef speakers I've heard in the past and very transparent and you know can soak up and really reproduce pretty much any kind of music you wanna throw at them. So uh, I give these my highest rating. If you're looking for a pair of bookshelf speakers, these absolutely have to be on your list of ones to check out. If you don't listen to these before you buy, I think you're making a mistake. Full stop. You have to listen to these. Thanks for watching with us here today. If you're not a subscriber, now would be a great time to hit the button. Also, like and comment. And a special shout out to my patrons from Patreon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. It helps us bring these videos to you every week. So, as always, Thank you for watching the video, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one.